Princess Priscilla, Enough is Enough. Written by Thal Dixon. Illustrated by Mikey Brooks. Read by the author. Priscilla Joanna Angelica Gore had plenty of stuff, but she still wanted more. She had 50 dolls at the foot of her bed and two pairs of sunglasses up on her head. Five bikes and three wagons, a scooter or two, three ponies, five puppies, her own private zoo, a dollhouse, a playhouse, a treehouse and fort, a skate park, an ice rink, a basketball court. With hundreds of outfits and bows for her hair, Priscilla complained she had nothing to wear. I need a new dress and these pants are too tight. I must have new shoes, some in brown, pink and white. This blouse is too large and this shirt is too small. Is anyone listening? Listening at all? I'm hungry, I'm sleepy, my back really hurts. I think what I need is a couple more skirts. Perhaps some new earrings, these seem so last week. Can I get new jewelry? She'd ask with a shriek. All through the mall, she complained as they went. And the more she complained, the more her mom spent. The more that they bought her, the more that she needed. Priscilla, Joanna, that's plenty, they pleaded. The bags kept on growing with each passing shop. Priscilla persisted. She just wouldn't stop. The boxes and packages reached to the ceiling. Her dad was exhausted. His arms had no feeling. Now, Princess Priscilla, that's plenty, they'd plead. Why do you insist having more than you need? There's no way to use even half of your stuff. Why can't you say no when enough is enough? Why aren't you content with the things you receive? We simply don't get it. What do you believe? You think you'll be happy if we buy more things? A necklace or bracelet? A couple more rings? Why can't you be happy with nothing today? Let's take it all back. Now what do you say? No way, screamed Priscilla. I want what I get. And I get what I want even more when I fret. More ice cream, more candy, more cookies and cake, more french fries, more burgers, more pizza and steak. I want to have everything, everything now. I don't want the steak. I want the whole cow. Why come to the mall just to leave empty-handed? Now buy me some earrings, Priscilla demanded. Time seemed to stop as the shoppers all stared. Her mother turned red and her father just glared. Priscilla kept stomping her feet on the ground, yelling and waving her arms all around. I said I want earrings, she shrieked out again when dad dropped the boxes and he started in. Enough, ordered father. You stop this right now. These tantrums are something I just won't allow. I don't want to hear you not one single word. All this for earrings? It's simply absurd. No daughter of mine will be acting this way. This attitude stops, and it's stopping today. Then dad scooped her up through the tears she was heaving. Let's go, said her mother. It's time we were leaving. Without much discussion, they flew out the door, just leaving the packages there on the floor. Her slippers, her makeup, her blouses, her bows, her fingernail polish she used on her toes, a new belt, a necklace, a watch, and a dress, a shirt with new earrings designed to impress, shoes and some lotion to soften her skin, a hat and a jacket, a rock and roll pin, bags full of boxes in all shapes and sizes, perfumes and potions, treasures and prizes, remain in that spot as a new store display to remind other kids of what happened that day. There is always a new shiny trinket to buy, the latest new fashions you think you must try. From hairstyles to headwear, lipsticks to blush, from curlers to crimpers, the new perfect brush, creams and conditioners, shampoos and soap, ointments and cleansers, beauty and hope. When do we say that enough is enough? Parents are good for much more than just stuff. Their cautions bring wisdom we must not ignore, like Priscilla, Joanna, Angelica, Gore. Thank you for joining us today at Kids Poetry and Storytime with Thal Dixon. Want to know when we upload a new video? Hit subscribe and be one of the first.